Hey guys, Max here. Uh, I have a bit of a different video in store for you guys. I got a bunch of requests from you guys to explain my process in greater detail, so here it is. Before we get into it, I'd just like to preface this with there is no right way to do art. Um, everyone will have their own way of drawing that works for them, so don't take what I say as law. What I will be explaining is my workflow that I've developed over the past eight years of being a digital artist. So without further ado, let's get started. My workflow is pretty linear in the sense that I go from sketch to line art to flat color shading, lighting, and final effects. Right now, I'm in the sketch phase. Um, I'm just locking down poses, uh, getting the basic shapes in and building upon them, adding in just at least a little bit of detail so that I can work off of something when I go into line art. Sketching is pretty basic. I feel like the only thing that I really need to explain for this is you'll see that my canvas flips horizontally a lot. And what that is, is a tool that I use to check my anatomy and the balance of the picture. Rotating the canvas or flipping the canvas can help you spot mistakes in anatomy or mistakes in balance. And that's a tool that I use a lot throughout my pictures. The program that you see me using is an older version of Photoshop, uh, Photoshop CS5 to be exact. The tablet that I'm using is a Wacom Intuos Pen & Touch. Uh, it's small and yeah, it's the same tablet that I've been using since I started digital art. Never really felt the need to get anything bigger or newer. It still works, so that's what I use. And now I've moved on to the line art here. I don't really have too much to say about it, I'm just drawing clean lines that are closed so that I can quickly select the whole piece and fill it in with flat color when I get to that. It takes a little bit of time, especially since this older version of Photoshop doesn't have any stabilizers, um, so everything I'm doing here is like completely freehand. With me personally, I don't like to use pure black for line art, I like to use sort of like an off color, so usually I'll go for like a pretty dark red or dark brown. Uh, it really depends on what colors the characters are, so if a character is mainly comprised of green or blue, then I'll use a darker variant of that color. But in general, I tend to stick to um, browns and reds because most of my art has this very warm color palette, so I find that that color of line art fits it best. And now you'll see me drawing a bunch of orange splodges all over Tango, b and Scar. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm adding a bunch of multiply layers with some oranges and reds just to the areas where more blood flow would naturally occur, like for example the cheeks or the fingertips. Um, and by darkening those areas and giving them more color, it makes the characters feel more alive. It makes them feel a bit warmer. Um, so that's what that is. As for the rest of the flat colors, uh, it's basically self-explanatory. I'm just basing them off of their skins. I don't really color pick anything, I just kind of choose colors as I go. I find that when I do that, the colors that I pick work together better than if I was to go to an external source and pick colors. I guess the only other thing to say about my coloring style in particular is that I don't like to use pure grays. Um, I'd rather use like a really desaturated color of some kind, just so that nothing is completely desaturated, at least there's like a little bit of color in every part of the picture. So that's my flat color process. And now we've gotten to shading and lighting, which is probably my favorite part of any picture that I draw. Um, just because it's really relaxing, and it's taken me quite a while to develop my shading style. It's not all too complicated. I use a super desaturated pink or purple on a multiply layer, and then either that same color on a new multiply layer, or I'll use a slightly darker and more saturated version of that color, depending on how dark I want certain shadows to go. Then for lighting, I like to use a super pale desaturated yellow. It sort of gives it a sunlight feel. So I'll use a super pale yellow, 
on a soft light layer and I'll maybe do one or two lighting layers on top of my shading before I move on to doing my extra highlights which is just on a normal layer on top and I color pick as I need them um, and the highlights are, are usually in the eyes and focus mainly around the face because that's the focal point of any piece uh, the first thing that people's eyes naturally go to is a character's eyes so everything else on the piece can be subpar as long as the character's face is on point then you're good and that's about all we have time for uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you've come this far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. I probably won't be doing too many of these because I use the same process for every piece of art that I do. So probably next time will just be a normal speed paint. And then just as a final thing, I'd like to say thank you. Last video I was thanking you guys for 200 subscribers and now we're quickly approaching 500 which is a little bit insane. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. You can follow me on Tumblr, Twitter and Reddit. All my links are in the description. And yeah, stay safe guys. <laughs>